Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to make a Sheriff badge in Blender 3.5 as you can see here it's a 3.5 version 3.5 of Blender latest release okay so first of all I am going to delete all these objects the badge that I'm going to be creating will be a star a six pointed star with a disc shape in the middle and a sheriff sign on that disc okay so first of all let's model the disc so shift A mesh and now look for the and look for a shape which look like a disc which is a circle all right now here in the bottom left corner click on this and now you can see the radius it's one meter which is quite big the radius one meters which means the diameter is two meters which is quite big for a sheriff badge which is about four inches or five i want to keep things in real world scale so the real world scale of a sheriff badge of that disc will be about uh, 1.5 inches so I'm going to type 1.5 inch then enter then you can see that it disappears well it does not disappear it becomes very small as you can see as compared to the circle we had before it was 1 meter and now it is 0 0.0381 1 meters okay change it from nothing to and gone now you can see that it fills it but before it was not it was nothing okay just vertices and now it is a face in the middle okay all right one thing i forgot okay now the vertices as you can see it's 32 vertices so i'm going to decrease the value of this vertices to 20. i guess it's all right now as you can see it's pretty thin it's just one face so i'm going to add a solidify modifier which will make it a little bit thicker all right select it and go to the modifiers tab and add in a solidify modifier as you can see that the direction of the solidify modifier is you can see that the offset is on minus one the minus is used for the direction okay so i'm going to just make it positive one now you can see it's pretty good all right make it a little bit thinner 0 0.08 oops 0 0.08 no 0 0.008 that's pretty good now apply the solidify modifier i want it to be smoother just like a disc so i'll be using a subdivision surface modifier but right now if i add subdivision surface modifier you can see that it's very odd and horrible this is because in edit mode you can see that we have faces we have this face this face now these faces are pretty small as compared to this large face because as you can see here these are small faces and many faces but here we have a one large face so what we are going to do is select this face top face select this bottom face and then press i on the keyboard it will add a new face and then just scale it down just like that until it's really small all right now you can see that it looks pretty amazing now it has still sharp edges so i'm going to right click and then shade smooth now it's a little too soft for a metal so i'm going to add a loop cut right here yeah and then one loop cut right here now it's pretty good looks pretty good amazing apply the subdivision surface modifier now let's make the six pointed star now you right there sit back and watch my magic i'm going to turn this plane into a star okay just scale it down now go to edit mode select this vertex and this vertex press m and choose at center this will merge these vertices at center okay right now you can see that it's pretty thin go to the modifiers tab and add in a solidify modifier all right okay increase the thickness until you're happy with it i'm happy with this this one okay now apply the solidify modifier Control a and apply now move it into the right spot scale it maybe at the y-axis All right, I'm pretty happy with this one, okay? Now, Shift D and duplicate it. Right click. Now press R, Z and then 180. Type in 180. Just like that. And now you can see it is a star. A six-pointed fancy star. Now let's just move them into the right position, okay? Select this one and move it down because they are intersecting right now with each other. They're intersecting. They just move it down until they do not intersect. Now let's make it fancier 
and let's decorate it just a little bit okay so I'm going to be adding UV spheres on these edges on these points of the star on this one on this one on this one and these three okay so adding a UV sphere decrease the segments value because I don't want to go too high poly for this one it will be small 20 maybe scale it down right click and shade smooth now select the UV sphere and shift D duplicate it right click now go to the object properties and here you will see its location okay now as you can see that we move this we move the sphere on the Y axis to this location all right but if I if I add a minus right here it will invert the location value okay the minus is for direction enter and you can see now shift D duplicate and, and now move it into the right spot shift D right click and then in the location just put a minus right here shift D right click duplicate and then play with the location put a minus right here and you can see what's happening so that this one shift D right click and move it on the x-axis now let's add in the sheriff text the sheriff sign the sheriff text right here on this disk so just shift A and choose text if you press tab on the keyboard it will go into edit mode and now you can edit it and type anything you want so I'm going to turn on caps lock because I want all the letters in capital sheriff now just scale it down so go to the object data properties of the text and under geometry section increase the extrude value now what we are going to do is we will use this text to cut through the the disk by using a boolean modifier okay so just move it into the right spot move it up yeah now in order for the boolean modifier to work with this text we have to convert it to mesh first okay so right click and convert to mesh now it's a mesh as you can see you cannot edit it anymore or type anything and since we scale this so control a and apply the scale otherwise the boolean modifier will not work now select the disk go to modifiers tab and add in boolean choose this text now if i hide it you can see that it's messed up you can see this r is not pretty well this r is not pretty well or this s and h if i decrease this value to zero now it's working but as you can see it's horrible just a shading problem you can fix that okay so select the disk and go to the object data properties panel under normal section click on auto smooth now apply the boolean modifier alt h and the text will reappear you can delete it now we no longer need it everything is ready okay so now click a and select everything then shift and click on the disk to make it an active object now control J it will join it to the circle to this disk now unfortunately in this tutorial I'll not be covering any UV editing or texturing or anything like that or lighting but I will still provide you the textures that I use so do check out the description